Winning is much more satisfying than not losing. Hello everyone, I'm Tim. At number 12, I believe Funakoshi is really sharing some great Buddhistic wisdom, even though he always said karate had nothing to do with religion. He tells us this, do not think of winning, instead you must think of not losing. In this type of precept, you are forced to think it through. Let's start with the difference between winning and not losing by going over two scenarios from the game of pool. The object of pool is to pot all your designated balls, either stripes or solids, and then pot the eight ball, thus winning the game. Eight ball pool is one when one of the following occurs. A, a player pots all of their designated balls and then legally pots the eight ball. B, the opposing player illegally pots the eight ball before clearing their own set of balls. These are the most basic rules of pool and they show quite directly the difference between winning and not losing. When you win, this is because you skillfully pot all the balls. So you were the one doing it. When scenario B plays out, you technically win, but actually it is your opponent who loses and you who didn't lose. Of course, pool is a game and the goal of most games is to win. And as someone who has played some pool in the past, I can tell you, Winning is much more satisfying than not losing. I could also explain winning and not losing by using Russian roulette as an example. Now, a little dark maybe, but pretty clear. I'm really not going to explain this further. For reference, I can recommend you watch The Deer Hunter. In any case, you can't win at Russian roulette. You can only not lose at this game. However, karate is not a game. It's not a sport either. Okay, there is sports karate, but I'm not talking about that. Karate. First and foremost is self-defense. And in self-defense, the goal should not be to win. Instead, you should make sure you are safe and you can escape. When you are safe from harm, you did not win a fight, but you didn't lose either. This can also be said when you are able to de-escalate a potentially dangerous situation without violence. This precept deals with your everyday mind. Knowing only how to win and not how to lose is self-defeating. This is a quote by Shogun Tokugawa Ieyasu. If you only think about winning, you will inevitably get extremely optimistic, but you are also impatient and fretful. You lose your sense of humility and begin to ignore or disregard those around you, and this attitude may create many enemies. You're better off with the mindset of trying as far as possible to avoid friction with others. This type of thinking shows the difference between false and true courage. False courage gives you a tough exterior but makes you soft on the inside, while a truly courageous person is gentle on the outside but tough on the inside. Karate though has always been regarded as the martial art of gentlemen. At least that is how we karateka see it. The everyday mentality of the practitioner of karate do should aspire to be outwardly gentle but inwardly strong. The principle of focusing on not losing has points in common with this passage by Sun Tzu. A strategy in commanding troops should not depend on the enemy's not coming, but rather should rely on one's own ability to wait and meet him when he does come. It should not depend on the enemy's not attacking, but should rely on our not being susceptible to attack. In short, this passage warns us to always be prepared, and this is widely applicable in many aspects of our daily lives. Do not think of winning, think rather of not losing. If you like what you see here and you want to see more, click right here to see more. For now, let me wish you a wonderful day, and as always, thanks for watching. Chuck Norris once played Russian roulette with a fully loaded gun and won.